Greetings everyone, and great here from another H Powers 4 replace. One on the bottom right side as the Cyan Byzantians, we have a forward name. One on top left side as the Magenta Ottomans with Liquid Demu. You know he's Islamic, he does not get uh, advanced berries. And no, I don't mean the fact that he's uh, Demu is short for something Muslim. <laughs> That's just a bad joke. We do have deer here, so perhaps Cyan, as was Magenta, collect the deer, because this map, the deer does spawn pretty close by. We don't. Let's see, he has berries back here, so not need to collect up, so he's probably going for Grand Winery. This map can be, be a little bit more campy, so safety of the Grand Winery wouldn't be half bad. Hmm. Ottoman, should he go for berry collection or for the Sultani Trade Network? This map is decent for trade, so maybe it's a good idea to eye for traders. But there's plenty of gold in this map as well, so it's also not great for traders. Can we say? Grand Winery is now going on up. And we've got the Sultani Trade Network, so he's got an eye for trade. Most of the time, people also don't really maximize the trade inside the Sultani Trade Network as well. They just go for the initial passive stuff. Brown of sheep does get deposited. He has. Oh, we got actually a large berry deposit here that Sion could easily claim. Got, of course, a large berry deposit here as a counterpart. Small. That's actually large as well. There's the large one. And this other small one for the Byzantines right there. So he does have a couple of relatively safe uh, berry expansions. Both players have aged on up now. And Magenta has a very large number of sheep there. He's going to send them on home and be. And they shall be quite delicious. Plus, he's going to clip his stone. Can't say that's meant for a secondary town center or for military academies. He's not built a military academy just yet. He's also not doing any more traders. They are full price. They do offer less than a standard uh, trade run. But they are, of course, very safe. And, of course, technically gives you a second village queue. More or less second village queue, since it does collect up a little bit slower than even gold miner. But it does cost quite a bit. Pros and cons. Yeah, effectively, a villager clicks up what? At a gold mine, 40 resources per minute by default, or at least with a lot of level 1 mining research. And this will provide you 24 per trader. So effectively, you have to spend more than twice the amount of resources in a villager in order to get half the value out of them. There's only one reason why you don't really see the Sultani Trade Network maxed on out. Of course, it does technically, like I said, give you a second villager queue without needing to build a secondary town center. Scout may get stabbed. Lieutenant, we're seeing some fights there. We've got a number of Ottoman archers now in the field. Collecting more of the deer. Sign has not touched his deer just yet. It's a good source of food. He probably should eye it. He's got quite a bit of wood at the moment. We got a barracks and mercenary camp. He is going for javelin throwers, engage his opponent's archers, and going for spearmen. Stab his opponent in the face. It's not uncommon for Ottoman players to go for Sapahi, but that's simply not the case at the moment. This, uh, nope, this, the uh, Spearman does get cancelled there. It's probably from the Military Academy. Two Military Academies will be built soon. Let's switch with the Ottoman players so we can tear the Vizier points click on up. He has one available as well. Most, like, most common is usually Anatolian Hills. Oh, looks like Antonio Hills now spawned 10 sheep rather than 8 sheep. I think they buffed it since they changed the food 
cheap contain. Scout severely wounded, but he first does have some health regen. He will eventually be at full health. Or at zero health. One or two. Got a round of walls there. This is fully walled off there and here, so this will fully wall him in, at least on that from that side. Nectar on the build here as well as Pahi. Hmm, what mercenaries could he got here? He could have gone from Magudai. Magadai does combo quite well with the Imperial Hippodrome. And that's the only time Magadai are generally useful. Science Scout almost dead. Five health remaining. This guy is 16, so it could withstand another shank. Walls will be complete. Got eight jam throwers here. Limitating charge my corps and spears. Or fortress, I should say. Got a couple Sapahi here. And Science Scout doesn't get picked on off. Magenta Scout has one health. Now zero health remaining. And now the Palisade Gate does get torched. Got the measure here for an increased attack speed. And so has a pile of sheep here. He must have gone for Anatolian Hills. No, he's actually not selected anything just yet. So he has a good reserve of sheep. He's been collecting up the uh, deer. That's why he has a good reserve of sheep. One of the villagers do go down there. So Pahi does get good charge there. One of the Jalantors do go down. Uh, Creo Siphon. I think he has Siege Engineers. Yeah, he has Siege Engineers. Cancel the Creo Siphon. Lumitani gets a great charge defense there. Archers trying to engage Lumitani. Does have the shield wall, effectively negating the bonus damage of the archers. Goes to the Imams for his first Vizier. So now he has some healing and AoE healing on his Imams. Rio Siphon now being built. Another Archer gets picked. Ramthor does skip out of there. Arm player has enough gold to age on up. Just need a bit more food. He has plenty of sheep here. And maybe got to rotate the sheep on the other side of the town center. And cut them from there. Horsemen try to get a swing on those villagers. Real Siphon saying that house plays. The Elven player has spare population spacing. Just can't lose two houses. Another Creo Siphon not being built. The mill will be, well, being cooked. And he's trying to make bread there. So he's been doing a bit, a bit of a bad job creating bread there because he's going to burn down the entire mill. Counter is trying. They do large escape from those Sapahi. Archer's trying to engage those Lumutani. Oh, and Sapahi charging way forward. Engaged by the horseman now. Metro receiving some damage. Metro may go down here. Another zero points available. Creo Siphon not complete. The Creo Siphon back here is a little bit idle. While he does find some hits on the Javan Tours, almost all the Ottoman archers have gone down. Montana gets a good damage there. More spot he here. Creo Siphon advanced before. Make it some AoE damage. AoE damage and AoE forward. Imam's been back here because got a bit of health regen and AoE health regen. Real Siphon not being resumed. There goes that horseman. Go, 
Military school now being built. Horseman throwing some forces there. Got Nelson Falky advancing. Arthur does take some damage there. Demon's in the middle of combat, getting some heals. And Tanny has those shields up. Horseman trying to gauge these Ottoman archers there. Spahi trying to stop them. Lee Tanny's trying to stop the Spahi. And the Ottoman players just having trouble with defense. He's not each one up. Maybe if he had a chance to squeeze out Castle Reach, that could have been good because men arms would be a hard counter to everything here. Yeah, it doesn't really have barracks for men arms either way. Lancers will be a bit more of a mixed bag since Lim Tanny will, of course, have spears against them. And now he's clicking up the rest of the sheep. He had a good sheep reserve. That's being, being consumed. And signs backed off a little bit. He almost has enough gold to age on up again. He's going for another meta. He wasn't paying attention there. Lim Tanny being gazed by Spahi. He's able to gaze uh, Lim Tanny by themselves. Allow the Spahi to get good fire support from all the archers. And he took no losses there on the Lim Tanny. They must have their shield wall up, reducing their attack speed. And now Sign's going to be chased back on home. Creo's will go down, but he will save the javelin throwers. Let's see, we do have three cisterns. And here's the Golden Horn Tower. He is aging up. He will, of course, have, eventually have access to what the other mercenary is. Can't see because of caster vision. The camel riders, which should be very effective versus Sapahi. Having a couple of mix on him wouldn't be half bad. Now let's switch back to the autumn player just so we can hear the vizier. I'm also curious what he invests his other vizier into. He went for a military campus, so he can't bring in a third military campus. He's aging up now, so he'll soon be able to bring in a fourth military campus. He has built that third military campus. Ah, right there. Couple olive groves there. He's now going for the deer. He has a decent resource reserve. For aging up again, let's see. His last upgrade uh, unit he gets from the Silk or from the Eastern Mercenary contract. No, the Silk Road Mercenary contracts is what the Grenadier. I always forget the last get that mixed up the Eastern Mercenary contracts. Yeah, Grenadiers. He can get some pretty high heavy armored. Oh, got another vizier. He's gone for the fast training, so his military schools are on higher production. It's probably not engaging. Wolf put down as the ATF wanted. So the military foreign engineering school will give. I think precision training to the javelin throwers. They will get the camel armor and the camel support for the camel riders. I don't think Grandier is affected by anything uh, for engineering. Well, the other one, the Palantine School, of course, give them more uh, a bit of rebate for for extra units, occasionally for his unique units, the Limtani. The Varangian Guard and the Cataphract. Precision training is probably not going to be super useful. No, actually, no. Precision training could be very useful because Ottomans like to go for Janissaries. So maybe. Point to school for veteran general throwers in precision training would be a good way, good outcome for them. Plus, camel support can give nearby infantry units more armor. Hmm. That's a possibility, plus nest of bees wouldn't hurt. At least not him. So yeah, I think the point engineering schools is generally gonna be better. Palantine school, let's see. Cataphracts against Janissaries is probably a horrible idea. Ranking guard. They're nice and all, but they can't have bit they do have some issues. Janissaries are probably decent against them. And them tanning just a general support unit. Nice having extra of those. But yeah, I think four engineering school will probably be the way to go. Unless he really wants to uh, spam up Varangian Guard. 
Got a Berserk here. It does result in more damage. Than he, he deals more damage than he takes. Now, if one goes for Master Bahi, the extra Lumen Candy from Palantine School wouldn't hurt, as well as more Varangian Guard. He seems back in awe. Oh, we got the Javelin Throwers being aggressively pushed forward. Does beat a Maganel shot there. Spahi pre engaged by these units. Javelin Throwers are going down, so you more or less just threw those guys away. The Byzantine player also has. He just uh, placed on a. There's a keep. Maybe a little bit better. A little bit farther forward. Help protect by protection against Sacred Sight, as well as both gold deposits. But you would definitely get this one nice and secure. This army is starting to get King Khan up. Science army. A good number of archers, as well as a couple of janissaries and some crossbows. He still has the shield roll up. He may. Oh wait, no, it's not up. I always have trouble turning when uh, it's up or not. Find something back on all. Sion will get his army cleaned up, has more of Rangan Guard and Limitani, so it looks like he may eye for the Palatine School with his current call position. One thing we could get Desert Raider and Mercenary Magandai. Mercenary Magandai could get the uh, Sheer Bolins. I think it's improved Sheer Bolins as well. Against Janissary stuff. That's a horrible idea. Fire, massive fire. Spearman or oh, Limitani engages some Pahi. It's a handful of gem throws in the back line. And trouble and push forward to engage everything. Science Army does get cleaned up there. He will overrun the villagers. Sign for a counter attack. Got exposed farming line there. No additional traders. Probably a good idea to go for trade bags. It may actually still good be a good idea to max that out when you get trade bags. Give you a decent amount of gold generation. Just want to go on down there. Got another, got a Maganel put up by Cyan. Very far from Asian on up. So is the Ottoman player. Okay, so he comes down that monk. Science claimed three relics. Boy on the Grand Winery. Who is claimed two relics? Yep, triple relic in the Grand Winery. And so not a whole lot of follow grows around it. He is making use of the boar on the map, which is good. Builder is advancing somewhere. Science army starting to fall on back here. The keep has held. And he's tasked a single villager to repair it on up. <clears throat> Zero is now available for Magenta. Let's take a look what he's going for. Got Maganel in placement here. And he has gone for Janissary Company. I don't really like that one. But does give him immediate, what, 10 Janissaries? Which is good for a single push. So now he's up to 14 Janissaries, two more on the way, soon to be 16. Janissaries right now does have 16 damage, so they should be able to punch through the armor of the most everything at the moment. Their range is, of course, only 3.5. Maganel engaging gets a very good hit there. He got two Maganels back here. Getting some great damage from Lumitani. Maganels do quite well versus uh, Castle Wage units. 
Oh, they also get countered by Spring Golds, which is also a castaway issue. Battery Ramps are going down. We've got the Emons here providing some excellent AoE healing to all these units. Doesn't need back on off. Both sides lost quite a bit. Magenta just taking time to heal on up won't be a half bad idea. He has currently one Imam here for healing, so he has a lot of work in front of him. But it's there. Maganel fires a volley. Got camel riders here, which help engage these volley. Also, keep up all nearby camels or horses. It's always a good idea to get, keep a couple of those guys mixed on in. Grand Guard taking up those crossbows. Some berries over here, very good. These ones are cleaned on up. This one is about to get cleaned on up, down the last 30 berries. Fire now from a single trebuchet. Here, being clocked on up. Outpost being built. So, the supply does find them. Javelin throwers and more villagers advancing. Which is both units. You don't really want that situation. Camera riders, however, now rotating around. But they cook it easy over around. But it will get some good damage on those units. Hammerriders have excellent amount of health with no inherent armor. More Hammerriders to push away forward. Keep taking more trebuchet fire. Now got a good, more, a good number of Olive Groves back here. Under more fire, more jam throws in the field queue, as well as some camera riders. It is from the Golden Horn Tower. Of course, those camels will get ripped apart by the Janissaries. They have to make sure you just keep them alive for the camel or camel on the ease debuff. Spring all for spring goals. Magenta spring goals have, of course, the tax rating increase. And does stop a shot there. Yep, that increased tax speed allowed to win that duel easily. Another Vizier. That may be his last Vizier point. <clears throat> he may keep that. After all, he nice to make the decision of going for trade bags or advanced academy. I highly doubt he's going for siege crews, though it is a very powerful effect as well. If I would change the how siege crew works, I would just say it makes all siege weapons cost one more population for the same effect rather than taking time to garrison. garrison. Excuse me, an infantry unit on the inside. They'll just go on down there. Right now, the village count is slightly in favor of Magenta, but only by a slight amount. Cyan does have two talents in this. Magenta only has the one at the moment.
Now, now the cross from truck before sprinkles going down. Well, the Trevor Chase is almost dead as well. Autumn players probably already have enough resources to age on up. It may be good idea from pursue that. The Zanti players are very far from aging up. Both sides have a similar army size in the field. Magenta has a far superior quality though. On for a Sapahi Janissary with a handful full of crossbow back line. Right now, crossbow do offer generally higher damage than uh, Janissary's this range against heavy. Maganel's aging on in, gets a good slice through Magenta's back line. Dragon goes straight forward, just trying to hit the front line through time frame. Maganel's getting massive hits on Magenta's back line. Magenta's starting to disintegrate. All of Magenta's siege weapons have gone down as well. I thought it was going to handily go in favor of Magenta, but I guess not. Bringing guard and Slim Kenny trying to pursue these forces. Assemble Observatory now being pulled in the field. He does have a bit of walls he can fight from behind. Though Jaguars are still pretty good at range. They have 6 range, plus Janissary is 3.5. Jaguars being microed quite well. He may get that trebuchet. That trebuchet is actually plenty of health at the moment. But didn't actually get through the gate, got pushed back out. Mato does get sniped there by the Javan Throwers, by engaging the Javan Throwers. Got some Moon Candy Brain Guard being some villagers. Swahi could activate the Fortitude ability, increasing the attack speed. Hobbin Flair is now aged on up. He has a massive gold reserve. He has good resource ratio for Janissaries. Rolling Shredder is not being researched. He selected his uh, vizier. He's holding on to it. He is keeping the idea of trade bags in his back pocket. If this, he's unable to break out, trade bags could help him even out. Not only get some more traders inside the on the trade network, he's also is building uh, walls on the flank, so he can't go for some very good trade. And plus, forty percent increased trade is very good. Janissary guns, elite Janissaries, Tithe Barn. Got around so of uh, wooden walls there. Magenta has a keep here and villagers. 18 villagers, so not all of them get inside the keep. So three will draw the short straw. One didn't even draw a straw. Make a two didn't even draw a straw. And there's a 15 villagers. You can get inside the keep. Instead, the keep tell them to go collect wood. Over here, I've got a number of these forces that creep on or broke their way through the gate. Got Elite Sapahi on the field as well. He has Elite Janissaries and Elite Sapahi. No Elite Crosswin, no Elite Archers. Not going to build any more of them. His arms will be Sapahi Janissary. And probably some of the siege weapons, such as the Great Bombard. Which are very fine bombards. Warring Engineering Company now being pulled in the field, which should. Get the Jeb Venom Jam Throwers, the Precision Training Research, which will increase their damage by three, right? Or two. One of the two. We'll find out soon enough the age up.
Yep, they just got a plus three damage there. Same attack speed, same range. But Sapahi now is charging on into Science Base. There's a lot of olive growth he can raid. He does not fortitude all on cooldown. And there's not enough, not enough room for all these villagers. Signed, so as a superior number of villagers thanks to Secondary Town Center. Four engineering company, uh, companies uh, deployed on the field. I'm not sure if you should go for nest of bees or you should eye for uh, more javelin throwers. Villagers aren't going down here. He does have some force to defend them. Javelin throwers can pursue by the Sapahi. He doesn't. And sign us back of the game. This is a great saying. Thank you for watching, and on to the next year.